The other thing that the city does is it convenes a grand jury, and their hastily compiled report is told that it, um, entirely by the um, headline in the white newspaper uh, when it's issued, Negroes to blame for inciting race rioting, whites clearly exonerated. That captures the essence of what the grand jury um, was uh, concluded. Or, as uh, one black newspaper concluded, there's a whitewashed brush and a big one in operation in Tulsa. That's the immediate aftermath of the rock. Right. Um, zoning ordinances <coughs> to prohibit rebuilding, grand jury indictments against the leaders of the Greenwood community to cause them to flee to places like Boston and Chicago. Um, uh, one um, fled to Springfield, Illinois, uh, Springfield, Massachusetts, where he began a new newspaper called The New World. Um, and such was, and that was the way in which white Tulsa dealt with the riot. It was the fault of the African American community and they would not be able to obtain um, reparations. That's essentially the, the, um, where the official memory of the riot ended until um, the mid-1990s, when in the wake of the Oklahoma City bombing and the attention that that drew, um, a representative in Tulsa um, thought that uh, we should revisit the uh, Tulsa's tragedy and that riot commission um, re went back, investigated some, uh, uh, the evidence, and came up with a story that matches pretty much what I've um, described for you folks tonight. And even then, the Oklahoma legislature uh, refused to pay anything in terms of reparations. I think there's a very a much more compelling case for reparations for Tulsa riot victims than there are for many other cases because of a series of factors and I think limiting principles that suggest uh, there can be, um, that, that there's suggest a particularly morally compelling case in Tulsa, right? First, the city and state are culpable. This is not a claim for general societal reparations or for discrimination by private actors. This is a claim for, the, for destruction that was facilitated and um, directed uh, by at least local officials in conjunction with some state officials. Secondly, the harm is concentrated in time and place. Right? This isn't something we're talking about trying to repair for um, all sorts of uh, generations of harm. It's for repair for a very specific harm. There are people who are still alive, though many fewer when, than when the Riot Commission began its work in 1997. And finally, reparations makes good on a city's promise to set things right. Very early on, one member, one former judge, uh, who was chair of a hastily composed reconstruction committee that was hastily disassembled, said Tulsa can redeem herself from countrywide shame and humiliation into which she is today plunged by complete restitution and rehabilitation of the black belt. The rest of the United States must know that Tulsa weeps at this unspeakable crime and will make good the damage so far as can be done to the last penny. Unfortunately, those initial promises that Tulsa will help rebuild became, uh, turned out to be laughable. And in the words of one black newspaper, Tulsa will became Tulsa will die. 